we are still graphing um, quadratic functions and we notice that if we graph a quadratic function eh, where that is a function where the highest power of x is a 2, eh, a square, we notice that we get a parabola and a parabola is a beautiful uh, symmetrical curve there eh, with a line of symmetry there in the middle. Now a parabola can be anywhere, yeah, it could even be upside down if you like, it could be a mountain. But it's always going to be symmetrical around a particular mirror line, okay? Because sometimes I notice students, they just connect the dots that they found, that they connect coordinates, um, but because they perhaps mispressed something in their calculator or they forgot a bracket or whatever, um, those coordinates are wrong, but they just connect it without thinking, yeah? But if you see that you do not get a beautiful curve, if you see you're not getting some beautiful symmetrical curve, then you made a mistake, something, eh? And so you're gonna, you're gonna check what, what is the mistake because a qu quadratic function is a parabola. Okay, that was that. We're going to now graph this um, parabola and we're gonna do that in this video. And then in the next video about the function, we are going to use our graph to solve three equations, yeah? And then in the video afterwards, we're going to draw a tangent and calculate the gradient at a particular point, okay? That is for later. First, we have to graph it x squared minus 4x plus 3. So a table of values, and I've uh, already decided upon some numbers for your x. So when x is zero, let's find out how much is y. So that is zero squared, yeah, which is zero, minus four times zero, which is zero, plus three. So y is going to be 3. When x is 1, I'm going to get 1 squared. So 1 minus 4, which is minus 3, plus 3, that is going to be 0. Yeah, and make sure you're able to find those values yourself as well. Eh? 2, 2 squared is 4, minus 8 is minus 4, plus 3 is minus 1. Please check if you get that. 2, 3, 3 squared is 9, minus 12. Eh? 4 times 3 is minus 3, plus 3 is going to be 0 again. Hey, I see some symmetry here, so I'm expecting the 4 to be a 3. Okay, let's see if that's true. 16, uh, 4 squared, minus 4 times 4, so minus 16, that is 0, plus 3 is 3. Fantastic, you see, I even see the symmetry in my table of values. Okay, let's uh, plot the parabola, and it should be yeah, a symmetrical curve, and if I don't get a symmetrical curve, I've made a silly mistake, so I check if I plotted it correctly or if I made any other mistake, 2, minus 1, 3, and 4, 3. But I see already that I get a beautiful curve. And then this is uh, practice and it's a little bit easier if you use a pencil than with a marker, I have to say. Yeah, but it needs to be a smooth curve. All right, there we go. Not too pointy there at its minimum. Through the coordinates. There we go, yeah? So do not just connect the dots with your ruler. Yeah, that would be wrong. Yeah, so again, do not just take your ruler and connect the dots like that. That's gonna be wrong. It needs to be one smooth curve like that. Second thing is, if you don't get a beautiful smooth curve like this, like I said before, then you've made a mistake somewhere. So check your mistake, yeah? Because quadratic functions will always be a beautiful, symmetrical, Parabola. Okay, go to the next video where we're going to solve some questions about this graph. Okay, see you there. Bye-bye.